Hi, I'm Christina Jacobs with Arsenal Handicraft. I'm also a speedball demo artist, and today I'm going to show you how to register multicolor screen prints on a single station press. Our setup is a vacuum table that we built ourselves um, with the speedball heavy duty hinge clamps drilled into it, but you can drill your clamps into anything that's stationary. Let's get ready to print our first color. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, that we use to burn our screen to um, do a registration. So we're going to put a film on top of the paper and you can see that the way we set up our file, our film has registration marks on all four sides. So we're going to use those registration marks to kind of estimate where the center of the paper is. It's going to be three inches from either side and a half an inch on the top and the bottom. So we're just going to mark off um, where those spots are on the paper and draw some lines. So now I know where my film is going to go. So I'm going to place my film on top of my paper. I'm going to line it up with the pencil lines that I just drew. And then I'm just going to tape it in place. So I'm going to take my screen and place it in the hinges. I'm going to kind of make sure that the paper um, is really as close as we can get it. So that screen is as far into the hinges as it can go while still giving me a little bit of wiggle room to move the screen around and get this registered. So I'm um, pretty happy with where my paper is. So now I'm going to tape the paper to our printing table. Four corners. Then I'm going to take my screen and I'm going to line up the screen to the film. And then when I'm happy with where my screen is, I'm going to clamp it down. So next I'm going to prepare our registration tabs and for that we actually just use scrap paper. So this is a piece of paper that was trimmed off of one of our previous prints. You can see it's got the registration marks printed on it. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this in half long ways. So now I've got two long strips of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick double sided tape on both of these. So now coming back over to my printing table, I'm going to place these registration tabs on either side of my paper, right up against the edge of it. So now we can remove this piece of paper, set it aside for later, and we are ready to go ahead and print our first color. All right, so you printed your first color and it is dry. Registration is never perfect. Part of this is um, a little bit of decision making. You've got to look at your image and decide what is the most important part. So on this particular print, we've got our two main characters in the middle here. This is really what we're going to be focusing on when we register. I just lined up the film and I'm going to bring you in close to see the decisions I made. So you can see that right here, you cannot see any of the first color's registration marks because I lined up the film exactly nearest those two people. If you go to the top of the image, you can see that it's off by just a little bit because I cheated down. And then if you go all the way to each side, you can see that because the paper expanded a little bit, the registration marks don't line up exactly, but what's important here is that it's perfectly straight. That's going to be really important for when you want to adjust your registration later. Now I'm going to repeat the process for my second screen, just like I did the first one, where I place my screen on top of the film, line it up, clamp it down, and then place my registration tab. So what happens if you're printing your second color and you don't like how the registration is lining up? I'm going to show you how to adjust it on the fly. The trick to this is that you're only going to adjust one 
edge at a time. And that's why it was so important that you wind up your film straight. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna pick a way to move this. So for this case, we are gonna move it um, this way, okay? So let's say that you wanna move it that, and I'm really exaggerating it so that you can see the gap here. You're gonna leave a gap between your paper and your registration tab. This long one is going to be your constant. So you're gonna make sure that this is lined up perfectly straight, and then you're gonna tape it down. All four corners. Then you're gonna print. We are mock printing right now. But you're gonna just check it out and make sure you're happy with it. If you are, you're gonna pick up this registration tab and you're gonna move it. And then you can repeat with the other side. So you're only gonna do one at a time. So if you need to move it the other way, let's see in this instance, you actually need to move it this way. So see, I'm kind of exaggerating that a little bit. So you're gonna use your bottom tab now. You're gonna line this up to the bottom tab tape down your paper, print, and then if you're happy with where it is, you're going to lift up this registration tab and put it back there. So that's it. You can repeat that process for as many colors as you want. This is what ours looks like when it's all done and the edges trimmed off.